In 2019, Vitorazzi released a new version of the master which was called MY19. They did replace the IDM ignition system with Selectra 1 and along with it the flywheel has now the tooth aluminium pulley incorporated so everything is just one piece and we don't have separate pieces and little screws that can fall off from the flywheel but if the pull starter or for any reason this flywheel gets some damage or you just need to remove the flywheel because you, do, you need to do some service to the engine itself change seals or change bearings or whatever you will need to be able to remove the flywheel and for doing that you will need some tools that Vitorazzi is selling a piston stopper and a flywheel remover and we will show you in this video how to use them and how fast and easy is to remove the flywheel and put a new one back. Let's get into it. Sure that you have springs and release the tension directly to the Hi there, my name is Stefan. Welcome back to the Parar Motor Engine Maintenance Series. This video will be a short one and as I said in the intro before, today we will show you how to remove, reinstall or replace the ignition flywheel. Let's do it. First, you need to remove the pull starter itself with an 8mm socket and a 13mm for holding in place the aluminum spacers. And now, as soon as you remove the pull starter, you can see the flywheel is in front of us. We can see the nut that is holding the flywheel onto the crankshaft. So next step is undo this nut. For doing that, we will need to install the piston stopper. Remove the spark plug. Install the piston stopper. screw it all the way in so the piston will stay somewhere the crankshaft will stay in the middle position while it's locked now go all the way under clockwise we can feel that the crankshaft is stopped right now using a 13 millimeter socket now just loosen up the knot remove the knot and now insert the flywheel puller for doing that first take off the screw so you are sure that you can screw this all the way into the flywheel now this is just snug install the screw back until it touches the crankshaft now with a 19 millimeter key Just screw in the screw until you can hear this was this simple, the flywheel just pop out, we have it removed, uninstall, uninstall the puller, put this aside, be sure you don't lose the washer and again watch out about this little metal part here be sure not to lose it it's kind of a special pin that holds in place and holds the flywheel from rotating onto the crankshaft and maintains a certain specific point put it aside now that we have everything exposed here we can check clean it really works to check the torque of these little bolts while we are here they can get loose over time actually these four bolts are holding the engine block onto the engine block support and the engine block support is bolted onto your frame now with a five millimeter allen and with a 15 newton meters as uh, vitorazzi advises this should be check 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 we can now proceed with the installation of the flywheel for this for the purpose of this video we will install the old one back first install the little metal pin
be sure that it's all the way into the crankshaft. If you look inside of the flywheel, you can see that we have a little channel here. And this little channel should be aligned with this metal pin while you're putting the flywheel back onto the crankshaft. So, be sure that is about right. Now you should be able to spin the crankshaft with the flywheel. So you are sure that the flywheel is onto the crankshaft and assured with that little pin. Install the special washer back. Special, I think it's called a wave, a wave washer. Something like that, install the nut. Go all the way clockwise. And again, using the 13 millimeter socket, torque this nut with 43 to 45 Newton meters. Now the flywheel is back onto the crankshaft, secured with the nut that is uh, torqued to the specified torque that Vitorazzi recommends. All we need to do now is remove the piston stopper, install the spark plug, install the spark plug cap, install the pull starter, and we are good to go. So, remove the stopper. Install the spark plug. Install the pull start. Little bit of Loctite because you don't want to lose the bolts and go to the prop. Torque the bolts at 10 Newton meters. With 10 Newton meters, there are six millimeter bolts. After we install everything back onto the engine, we are ready to go. We can go flying and enjoy some really nice air time with our friends. As you could see, this operation is a very simple one, as long as you have the tools that are made for it and uh, Vitorazzi is selling them. You can find them on our eShop with the next day delivery. We have plenty of them. So go to eShop.scoutparamotor.com, order yours and you will have them basically forever. They are just plain steel, you cannot damage them. And you can service your engine whenever you want and uh, we keep it trouble free. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Please be sure that you hit like and subscribe button and I will really, really appreciate if you will share this video with your friends and maybe some of them will find some of our videos very useful and they actually can learn something from them. And stay with us because we'll have quite a few more videos that we will need to add to the Paramotor engine maintenance series. And very, very soon we will go really deep into the engine and we will show you how to change pistons, crankshafts and all kind of seals and so on. I'm sure you will have something to learn from it. Thank you very much. See you next time. Ciao.